Mike, Wayne Larrabee, Randy Wright, and Jim Barber. The Iowa Hawkeyes at 5-3, and three, the Northwestern Wildcats at 8-1. And, and here come the Wildcats, the fifth-ranked team in the nation, looking for their eighth win in a row. It is a cold afternoon, although the snow has subsided. 26 degrees, winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour out of the north. And they're playing on an artificial surface. The Hawkeyes will receive to start this ball game. Brian Goins getting set to kick it away. And Goins has the wind to his back, and the wind, in fact, makes the first play of the game by knocking the ball off the tee. The wind out of the north, and it is gusting. And there is Tim Dwight, very important man in the Iowa plans here today. They'd like to get the ball in his hands about 15 times, and they'll do it any number of ways. As a receiver, kick returner, punt returner, and as a runner. And here's the boot by Goins. And he kicks to the other side. And coming out of there, Damon Gibson. Gibson tripped up out near the 15-yard line. The Iowa Hawkeyes are piloted by sophomore quarterback Matt Sherman. Sherman comes in having thrown 13 interceptions and 10 touchdown passes. Cedric Shaw, the tail of the tandem in the I formation. Scott Slutsker, the big tight end, was in motion. There was a false start, I believe, on the Hawkeyes. They're throwing down the field to everybody. First and 15, a quick count. Here comes Cedric Shaw. He is met in the hole by Jeff Shine and driven back. Iowa will line up for you. Tim Dwight, we mentioned him. He is a big play artist downfield, and he can make big plays in any number of ways. Casey Weekman leads the offensive line. Second down for the Hawkeyes in Matt Sherman. Tim Dwight is at the bottom of your screen. Shaw picks his way and has a hole. Undercut move by Rodney Ray on the tackle. The Northwestern defense has been the story for the revival of this program, led by Matt Rice up front. The linebacker, Pat Fitzgerald, from the south side of Chicago, Orland Park. Leads the Big Ten in tackles. And Chris Martin. Chris Martin, excuse me. From the 21, third down and about four for Iowa. They're going wide with Shaw. And Shaw drives William Bennett back to the 25. It looks like he's got enough for the first down. Gallery gets off an end-over-end -end kick. And this one, Karen's by Muso, is covered by the Hawkeyes as it bounces out of bounds. Their quarterback, Steve Schnur. Darnell Autry, leading rusher in the Big Ten Conference, not going anywhere. The Hawkeyes showed good pursuit. Take a look at the Northwestern offense. Dwayne Bates makes big plays on the outside. They'd like to get the ball in his hands, much like Iowa would like to get the ball to Tim Dwight. Rob Johnson is the veteran center on a solid offensive line. Schneer to Autry. Autry straight up the middle, moves the pile forward out to the 31-yard line. The Iowa defense, Jared DeVries makes plays behind the line of scrimmage. In the linebacking core, Bobby Diaco, second leading tackler in the Big Ten. In the secondary, Plez Atkins has returned two interceptions for touchdowns this season. jumped on the right side of the Iowa offensive line of the pass incomplete in the flat there are penalty markers down on pass play that time by Schnurr at Northwestern when they yards per punt and he gets off a line drive kick Tim Dwight makes it over the shoulder Muck, and covers it near the 19 yard line and Hayden Price said I think those kids over there just feeling their oats and why not when you won seven in a row and you're the fifth ranked team in the nation you've got oats to feel Cedric Shaw around the end. Bennett Cedric escorts Shaw him out of the bounds here. with uh, Martin helping out. He's from their 22. Shaw again slips and Cedric falls Shaw this time. Third and ten for Iowa. And again they go to Shaw. Nice cutback move. Shaw Cedric short of the first Shaw down the across carrier. the 25 of the 27-yard line. Keep it the back stop you short of the first down. Gallery fields a low snap and gets again a line drive kick away that will not be returned Gallery by Muso and it's out of bounds near the 46. So the Wildcats on offense with a first down. Autry going wide and again attracts a lot of white clad Hawkeyes. I wouldn't be surprised he carries the ball 40 times. Second down and about 11. 
Kushner, the first pass of the game. Dwayne Bates has it at the Iowa 40. It is a first down. But Northwestern in enemy territory for the first time this afternoon. Autry. Tough yard straight ahead. There are penalty markers down to the play. Thinking about the cold, you're thinking about the wind. You jump. First and five from the 35 of Iowa. Autry waits for his blocking. Going shot through that hole. Some people were saying, what are you talking about? Well, a few years ago, other teams could expect victory when they played Northwestern. Yeah. Now, it's Northwestern that's expecting victory. Rollins had a shot at Autry in the hole, and Autry able to break that tackle. The snow is out of the forecast, but it's going to stay chilly. Play action. Schnur has a man open. Beasley. Make that Bates, and it's incomplete. Bates could not hang on. Schnur threw right out there. Got to make that catch. Bates is a young receiver, but he's had an awful lot of success. That's a catchable ball. Second down and 10 from the 30 of Iowa. Autry, yards have been tough to come by. Autry, six carries, seven yards here this afternoon in the early going. Third and nine, and Schnur comes up throwing. And isn't able to get it away. Ennis Inge led the charge, and we've got a field goal try coming up right here. Brian Goins, as long as 49 yards. This is a 50-yarder with a wind to his back, and he's got the first points of the game on the board. Brian Goins, who took over for the injured Sam Valencisi a few weeks ago, puts Northwestern on top of the 50-yard field goal. It is 3-0 Wildcats. had hit 15 of 16 field goals prior to his knee injury. Kicks it away. Twin safeties back deep for the Hawkeyes. This is a shorter kickoff. And it's mucked on the play by the Hawkeyes. Gets it and then recovered in the end zone. But now first down from the 20-yard line for the Hawkeyes. Slutsker, the tight end, is in motion. They've got two tight ends in the game. And Cedric Shaw is met Cedric in the hole this time and driven down by Larry Curry. This is Iowa's third offensive possession. They're yet to throw a pass. They are operating into a strong wind out of the north. Motion again from the tight end. Shaw gets the call. They block it well up front. Cedric Shaw has got four yards out near the 24. Third down. And it's six yards to go for the Wild, for the uh, Iowa Hawkeyes. And Sherman perhaps changing the play at the line. First pass of the day. Sherman slips and slips away from the defense. And he's got a first down to the 31-yard line. We have to watch it from the rooftop. First down, Iowa Hawkeyes. Cedric Shaw cutting it back. Cedric Shaw and he's got yardage out to the 36. It looked to be a gain of about five. Slutsker the tight end in motion. Shaw. Made a couple of nice moves, but could not elude Eric Collier. Carter, Guy, and the tight end, Slutsker. To the top of your screen, Slutsker in motion, and Shaw follows him. For the first down, out across the 40-yard line. First down from the 44-yard line. Tight end, Price in motion to the right. Shaw cuts it back. Shaw's got a first down inside the 45-yard line into Northwestern Territory. Just inside the 43 of the Hawkeyes and first down. Cedric Shaw straight ahead. And Shaw down near the 35-yard line, a gain of seven. Second at about three. Shaw, good spin move, but Collier would not give him the first down. Less than a minute to go in the first quarter on first down. Shaw cut down by Sutter. Excellent play. All guys get motion out of the backfield. Quick throw, and this is Tim Dwight. Tim Dwight fights for yardage down near the 26-yard line. The end of one period, Iowa's on the drive, but Northwestern is on the lead. 3-0 Wildcats after one. Third down and about five. down to the 20-yard line and running behind Ross Verba and Matt Purdy on the left side of the offensive line. 
And again, Shaw bouncing left. Just inside the 20 now. Second down. A little bit less than nine yards to go. Shaw again. This time, not a lot of room. Third down. German stumbled a bit as he came out of there, but he's got an open man, Michael Berger, and he's first and goal inside the 10 at the six-yard line. Of the ball right over the line. Cedric Shaw and first and goal. Penalty marker down may be for a face mask and a high tackle. It's going to be a personal foul face personal mask. Foul so it... Berger is the fullback. They've got two tight ends in the game. Slutsker in motion. Shaw follows Slutsker into the left side of the line for a touchdown. And the Iowa Hawkeyes take the lead 6-3. to three. Zach Bromert drills it through the uprights. And the Iowa Hawkeyes have a 7-3 lead over the Northwestern Wildcats in the opening two minutes of the second quarter. Early as the football being held by Eric Bigpen, and here's his kickoff. A high end over end kick. Josh Barnes from the 13. Good move there to get across the 25, and the big guys up front on a day like today, they paved the way. Autry has had very little room with which to work. 7-3 Iowa, second and 10. Darnell Autry. This time breaks through for his biggest run of the day out across the 30 that he ordinarily makes. Third down and about three. Schnur to the air. Schnur under pressure and sat back inside the 30. Vernon Rollins, the linebacker. Tim Dwight back deep for Iowa. Burton, a line drive kick that gets a Northwestern hop. And out of bounds here, the 35-yard line. Now Iowa on offense, first down. Cedric Shaw at 62 yards on the last Iowa drive alone. Second down for the Hawkeyes, about six. Slutsker, the tight end in motion. Cedric Shaw did a nice job there of waiting for his blocking. 9.40 left to go, first half. Motion from Price, the tight end. Shaw follows him to the right side. Good penetration made by Martin and Cedric Shaw reaches for the first down marker. And so out in punt formation with a wind to his back is Nick Gallery and he gets good leverage into this punt. Brian Musso makes the catch. Iowa has dominated this football game thus far, although they only lead 7-3. Now on first down, Hawkeye showed a blitz. Play action and Schneer looking to throw. Had a man open in the flat, tipped it, intercepted Tom Knight down the sidelines. He's got a convoy to the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown, Iowa. The score, Iowa. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. It was a good play action. Schnur has his man hardled wide open. Ryan Driscoll, the holder, and the kick the is three. good. good. Well, a few weeks ago, we saw Northwestern fall behind Illinois 14 to nothing. They have fallen behind the Iowa Hawkeyes, 14 to three here at home. 8.25 to go, first half. Good leverage into this kick. And Autry, Adrian Autry across the 20. Nice move out near the 20. What he has done so well for them is the ordinary things. Darnell Autry. Just need a little move to make them think the whole place going to be. Autry gets by Diaco. Autry close to the first down near the 21-yard line. Autry now 10 carries, 50 yards. 36 of those yards or thereabouts have come on the last two calls. Second down. Autry this time is nabbed as he waited for his blocking by John LaFleur. I think they need a touchdown on this drive, Wayne. If Iowa holds them again to a field goal, that's going to be a little victory for them. Northwestern needs a touchdown. Autry going wide. Rollins forced the play. Bill Ennis Inge denied him the first down. Fourth down, it's a long two yards to go.
And the point after is good by Brian Goins, and the Northwestern Wildcats charge right back into it. 6.44 to go. First half at Evanston. Iowa's lead down to four. And now back live. The kickoff muffed by the Hawkeyes. Picked up by Damon Gibson, and he's going nowhere. Just take it as it comes. Cedric Shaw's the tailback. He gets the call. Got a good block off the left side of the line, but only out to the 10-yard line. It'll be about six minutes to go in the first half. Willie Guy, the man in motion. Sherman still has it. And he gets rid of it. Incomplete. His third down and seven now for the Iowa Hawkeyes. From their 10, Slutsker in motion. Cedric Shaw. Shaw unable to get the first down. Excellent open field tackle. Here's the snap to gallery. Line drive kick. And this one, Musso makes the play on it at the 40. Nice move there. Brian Musso will go all the way. Touchdown. snap they get it down and, and the kick is good 60 yard punt return for a touchdown by Brian Musso before today just nine turnovers Goins on the kickoff this one through the end zone pretty strong kick when he running the ball had worked for him. Tim Dwight is at the bottom of your screen straight ahead move here by the big fullback, Michael Berger. Two tight ends standing up near the line for Iowa. On second down, Sherman looks to deal deep. Going for Tim Dwight. Penalty markers down as Dwight is taken down on the coverage. It was double coverage. Aiden was going right through them. Off the penalty, first down, Hawkeyes at their 44-yard line. Play action again. A slip by the quarterback and a sack back inside the 35. Sherman changing the play at the line. What a great pass protection. Great catch by Slutsker, the tight end. Close to the first down. Third and two Hawkeyes. Slutsker in motion. Cedric Shaw pulling his way, and it appears he's got the first down. Just short of the 45. And now Iowa from the 45 of Northwestern on the drive. Trying to answer the onslaught of the Wildcats. First down. A little more diversity in the attack for the Hawkeyes here. Matt Sherman, sophomore quarterback, St. Hansgar, Iowa. Got a slot to the top of the screen. Tim Dwight in the slot. Nothing there. Boy, they read that well. So that may be something to keep an eye on. Third and about four for Iowa. Shaw going wide, looking to throw. Had a man out there, but it's pretty well covered. And Chris Martin knocked it down. Fourth down now for the Hawkeyes and a long four yards to go. Cedric Shaw jumps back onto the field. Sherman calls the play at the line. Blitz. They pick it up pretty well. Sherman has time. Slutsky through the tight end. He's got a first down and more. Slutsker inside the 10 to the 5 to the end zone and touchdown! Wayne, if you ever get man-to-man -man coverage as a quarterback, the first thing you look for is the crossing route because that's the guy that's running away. Pepper now for Iowa and Zach Romer puts it through the uprights. No good. They just missed it. Getting it through the uprights. He appeared to pull it. And so the Iowa Hawkeyes miss an extra point, but have taken the lead by three over the Northwestern Wildcats with a minute 31 to go. Eric Thigpen helps him out by holding the football. And the kick bounds across the 10-yard line. The return men slipped on the play, Adrian Autry. And Adrian Autry going to be short of his 11-yard line. But nonetheless got the job done. 
Darnell Autry, straight up the middle. Lloyd Bickham in the middle of the Iowa defense. It's Dwayne Bates at the bottom of your screen. But they'll keep it on the ground. One of the best in the country, Darnell Autry. He just hasn't had a whole lot of room to run. The Hawkeyes have come in here to Evanston. And as we hit intermission, it is the unranked visitors from Iowa City who lead the fifth-ranked team in the nation 20 to 17 in the studio at Mike Gleason. Principal deep back. Josh Barnes also deep. And we're set to go. Kick comes to Josh Barnes near the 10. Barnes hits the hole hard across the 25. He's out near the 30-yard line. Bates and Beasley form a slot to the near side. Darnell Autry, and again, outside of basically two runs, and they came consecutively. It is second and six, Northwestern. Looked like the Hawkeyes violated the neutral zone. Contact may have been made. Lloyd Bickham jumped across. Contact by the defense. If you subtract the two big runs he had, the 27-yarder and the 9-yarder, it's 19 yards and 12 carries. Give you an idea of what it's been like for him today. More tough sledding in the middle of the Iowa defense. Football just across the 43, and Schnur to the air. Wide open, Bates to the Iowa 36-yard line. First down, Northwestern. So the Wildcats on the first drive of the second half. To the Hawkeye, 36, and Autry gets the call. Autry pulled back by Vernon Rollins once again. And the Wildcats had a first down near the 33-yard line of Iowa. Bates on a reverse, and it's well executed. Bates inside the 20 to a first down Northwestern near the 16-yard line. Outside the 12-yard line of Iowa. Autry has a seam. And he's close to a first down near the seven-yard line. It's second and one. Hartle in motion. Autry, first down and goal to go inside the five near the three-yard line of Iowa. First and goal at the Iowa three. That's Hartle in motion. Autry, well blocked off the right side, virtually untouched to the end zone for the touchdown. And in a seesaw fair here in Dyke Stadium, Northwestern retakes the lead. And with 11.08 left to go, in this the third quarter, the Northwestern Wildcats are back in front. This touchdown capping the drive for the lead, 24 to 20. There's the Northwestern scoring drive. Here's the kickoff. Ed Gibson makes the catch on it. And he's short of the 20-yard line. First down for the Hawkeyes, just short of their 20-yard line to the 19. Cedric Shaw cut down across the 20. At the time. That program was 1-10, and, and they were three years into the mission when they were 1-10. and 10. They gave them the opportunity to stay there long enough to do that. Sherman's got a man open, Price the tight end, and a short gain. Ismaili forced him out here. Third down for Iowa. Sherman again calling the play at the line. Northwestern in a blitz. Ismaili pressures the quarterback. Intercepted by Fitzgerald, but he tracked it incomplete. Musil back deep. He's already taken one the distance today. Martin almost got that punt. Musil allows it to roll out of bounds inside the 25. Yeah, right, right. Against the wind, 125. Go figure. I think it's important, too, that they control the ball here because this is the quarter Iowa has the win. Darnell Autry escapes to the outside. Out to the 28-yard line. Second down and about five. Schnur play action. Got a man open over the middle. It is Beasley. First down at the Northwestern 48-yard line. Back on a first down for Schnur. Blitz by Iowa. And Autry is captured near the line of scrimmage. Waterman and Musso form a slot to the top of your screen. The tailback, Darnell Autry, once again hit near the line of scrimmage from the Wildcats facing third down. A little bit less than 10 yards to go. 
This is not a great offense on third down. Schnur sacked back inside the 45. Ball caroms out of on the sideline to stay in play and takes it on Northwestern roll. 6.27 to go in the third. Cedric Shaw. Cedric Shaw on the ball carrier. Second down for the Hawkeyes. To the fullback. They tried to fake that pitch a couple of times and fake the toss. Third down, and it's about four for Iowa. Almost five yards. Sherman, lots of time. Got a first down to Slutsker, the tight end, and he's out near the 31-yard line. Play being changed at the line now by Sherman once again. And he gets it off just in time. Quick throw into the flat, tip to White. Chris Martin steers him out of bounds. Second down and four. Price, a tight end in motion. Cedric Shaw. Well, Price missed the block that time on Jeff Shine. And third down, and it's almost seven yards to go. Sherman got a man open. Richard Carter on a diving grab for a first down on the 44-yard line. He went and got it. First down, Iowa at the 44. Cedric Shaw with authority to the 50-yard line. And a second down and four. Slutsker in motion. Shaw again. Tripped up short of the first down to the 47-yard line. Northwestern leading by four. Another third down for the Hawkeyes on this drive. Slutsker the man in motion. Shaw gets the call. Good read to take it to the outside, and he picks up two yards, enough for the first down. Of the first down of the 45 of the Wildcats for the Hawkeyes. They fake the toss, and Kruger has running room to a first down to the 34. That Sherman's a pretty good ball handler back there. And he's doing a very nice job of hiding the ball. Shaw fights to the 30, gain of four. It's just a matter of one. Second down at six. Again, they run the uh, fullback right up the belly. Another third down for the Hawkeyes. Third and three at the Northwestern, 27. Cedric Shaw wedging his way short of the first down. He got down to the 25. It'll be fourth and one. They switch sides. Gary Barnett and the Northwestern Wildcats leading by four as we head to the fourth. Tim DeWhite is the lone wide receiver in the game. Double tight end standing up on the line. Northwestern shows blitz. Shaw. Big hit in the hole off the left side of the line, but he's got enough for the first down. Shaw got that last few inches by lowering his shoulder and going forward. First down. Shaw. Waiting for the block. He tried to set up around the block by Derek Price. Northwestern leading by four. Second and eight, Iowa. Willie Guy in motion. A slip, and then a hit. Penalty marker down as well. I agree with you, Wayne. I think it's going to be an illegal block, a little clip right there against Iowa. If it's there, great. If not, take what they give you. Tim Dwight is at the top of your screen. Damon Gibson on the bottom. Sherman, a deep drop. Pass under shot, Cedric Shaw. Pressure. And again, if you're thinking field goal, no chance into the kind of win they're to be kicking into. Sherman on fourth down. He's got a man, Tim Dwight, the pass wide of the mark. The coverage provided by Eric Collier. Waterman and Bates form a slot to the bottom of your screen. That is Bates in motion. Hawkeyes on a blitz with Rollins up the middle, and Rollins comes down the running back, Darnell Autry. Second down, 12 yards to go. A lot of those tackles are coming behind the line of scrimmage, too. They're not deep into his own territory. <laughs> Schnur on the roll. Penalty markers are down. Schnur's out of bounds near the 31-yard line. Deeper into their own territory. 
holding, holding the call against Northwestern. Schnur under pressure immediately. Just throws it away, incomplete. Northwestern, third and 27. They're not going to get healthy doing third and 27. Autry. It's a nice chunk of yardage, but not nearly enough out across the 20 to Paul Burton Jr. Confirmation. Nice spiral. And this ball takes a Northwestern hop. A single digit wind chill factors on the field. Play action. Sherman going deep. Intercepted on the play by Chris Martin. And Northwestern takes over. Ellen. Northwestern on a first down. Darnell Autry. Rambles for about six yards. Second down. And about four yards to go. Autry has running room. First down and more. Out near the 37-yard line. Autry last week against Penn State, 139 yards and 36 carries and three touchdowns. Not bad against that defense. Autry hit at the point of attack. Nonetheless, Autry crashes his way for four yards. Ouch. Second down. Yeah, ouch is right, especially at a cold day like this. Schnur. Diving attempt made by the fullbacks now. Third and six here. Schnur. And that's a first down. Diving grab, Dave Beasley. At the 44 of Iowa. Darnell Autry got back to the line of scrimmage. And play action again. Schnur under immediate pressure. Schnur can't get it away. Yes, he does. To Darnell Autry, who's ushered out of bounds back at the 45-yard line of Northwestern. Vernon Rollins. <laughs> Even if you didn't see him, you could guess. Iowa on a blitz. Autry gunned down by Lloyd Bickham and an impressive stand by the Iowa defense. Fourth down, about 22. Burton in punt formation. It's off a nice kick here. Tim Dwight allows it to hit on the 10. And and bounce into the end zone, first down. Wind has subsided somewhat here. Iowa going into what little wind is left. Play action, Sherman. He's hit and sacked. Warren arrived initially on the scene. Second and 16. Cedric Shaw looking to cut it back. He got five of those yards. Sherman calling the play at the line. Tim Dwight is at the top of your screen. He's the guy they look for in these situations. Sherman outlets it to Price, the tight end, and he's not going to get the first down. He needs better protection. Gallery and punt formation. Not sure if somebody got a piece of that or not, but a shank nonetheless is the end result, and Northwestern will get it at the 40-yard line of Iowa. Last three drives, three straight punts. The Hawkeye defense has allowed the visitors to hang in this game. Autry back to the line of scrimmage. And this one uh, is going to be tough for the offense to get anything going into that wind. Autry hit in the backfield. Bobby Diaco, second leading tackler. Iowa, one of eight on third downs. I think that Northwestern one of eight. Schnur, a big play here. Complete the ball dropped by Bates. Second half for Northwestern. Burton gets off a high kick. Fair catch signal is made. The ball hits and stays in play. And Danny Sutter. Iowa first down football just short of its 14. Berger, the lone running back, gets the call. And he has about five yards. I was either going to win it or lose it. Shaw and Berger, the backfield tandem on second down. Berger, out near the 31-yard line to an Iowa first down. First down to the 31. Northwestern showed blitz and backed out of it. 
The screen pass, or they should say the little flat pass to the big tight end, and he fumbles the football. It's picked up by his family for the touchdown. Derek Price made the reception, lost the football on a hit. His Mailey picked it up and takes it in for what could be the clinching score. Your defense making plays like that. And the extra point by Brian Goins. For a personal foul. Dead ball on the offense after the kick. The kick is good. Penalty enforcement on the kickoff. So the extra point is good, and Northwestern now has a 31 to 20 lead over the Iowa Hawkeyes in the fourth. They're going to need a little help. They're going to need somebody to knock off Ohio State. Goins kicking off from the 20 off the penalty. On the extra point, Tim Dwight trying to get Iowa some field position, and he's got it out across the 40-yard line, but nonetheless. Odoms near the first down marker at the... Sherman again with the call at the line. Making sure his skill position people know what the call is. Second and short, Sherman to the air. Got the tight end, Matt Slutsker. Slutsker eluded one defender, but then is swarmed back near the 39-yard line. Clock, two and a half minutes to go in the game. Iowa trailing by 11. Sherman a deep drop with good protection. Went to the short pattern and excellent defense. Or a touchdown and an extra point. A two-point conversion, then a field goal. Sherman, Cedric Shaw, didn't really have anywhere to go. Holmes, the linebacker, responded. Under two minutes to go in the game. Iowa has three timeouts remaining. Cedric Shaw up the middle. Shaw trying to make a play. He's got a first down. Iowa recovers an outside kick. That would be, I would imagine, the next move if they score here. Sherman slips. Did his knee go down? Yes, it did. Back near the 28-yard line. The Hawkeyes have two timeouts remaining, 70 seconds to work, and it's second down and 19. Near the Northwestern, 28. Sherman, a deep drop. Buy some time. Knocked down by Collier. Shaw would have had some running room. Sherman again. Lots of time. Buy some more. Short pass here to Slutsker, the tight end. Cutting it back, gets to the 20. And Matt Sherman. Feels some pressure. And Cedric Shaw could not haul it in. I'm not sure he would have gotten a first down out of that anyway. 44 seconds to go. Steve Schnur. Western Wildcats have ended a long losing streak 21 consecutive losses to the iowa hawkeyes the northwestern wildcats today have broken that string and proven to hayden fry who said hey you know i know they're good but they got to prove it to me they haven't beaten us in 21 straight games today they, they were able to accomplish that break the streak to iowa and their special teams contributed today brian musso with the punt return everybody contributed